What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, we had a hell of a gangbuster in the last uh, the last hour special. We captured many, many cities. We captured Finland. We captured uh, Venice to the south and we also captured Naples. No, we didn't capture Venice. We captured Tunis owned by Venice in North Africa and we also captured Naples. Um, so what, but what we decided to do is push this army over this bridge start to intercept some of these uh, Prussian forces as we move west towards their heartland. So without further ado, let's fight this fairly simple little battle. And the reason why I'm fighting it manually rather than auto-resolving it is because we don't have much money. It's towards the end of our turn. So it's probably best to not waste a bunch of money or, you know, take a lot of casualties that we can't actually replenish this turn. Or at least, it would take much longer. Ooh, okay. Trot the guns up to the top of the hill. Deploy my howitzers. Blast them quick line. Two brigades of infantry coming around each flank. Put our sec bands and our light infantry going straight down the middle. Cavalry on the edge of each flank. General in the centre. Good. Aggressively push up my infantry. Pushing up, push up my sepahi, focus our quick climb on their infantry base. Their cavalry is likely to suffer significant attrition getting towards our line. I guess they are going to make it though. No, nope, they're shattered. Let's let a couple of rounds of quicklime go in, just to soften them up. Come on. And let's take our infantry. Oh, looks like they're about to push up as well. Let's pick new quick climb targets. I mean, I'm curious. Yeah, I didn't think you guys could deploy realistically into square. Just push up. Hit the conscripts with my heavy cavalry. Run my sepahi into the enemy cavalry over there. These dragoons aren't going to be able to hold for very long against my infantry. Push these men into the militia conscript battle. Line these guys up ready to fight against the general. Miss Patty had done a load of damage to the Republican Guard. Yep, and they are broken, so let's pull back. Let's see if we can actually kill them. There's my heavy cavalry, there it is. Very danger close quick line. Get my general out into the mix. I want to bring my cavalry over. 
to go fight their general. Let's get these troops out of square formation. It looks like once the Prussians are killed, or once the general's been killed, then these forces are right for the destruction. Oh, damn, my Sipahi were... For some reason I thought those spikes were going the other direction. Oh well. Chase down the conscripts. You guys get into square, because they're coming right for you. There we go. Let's unload our musketry into the flank of the engineers. See, he says winning decisively, but I can't believe that is going to be the continued state. To be honest, it's probably not even worth chasing them down because we're attacking a... not a town, but a fixed position. Try and hit the 16th with one volley of quicklime. Shells are inbound. That's enough. Yeah, it's, let's probably call that there before I screw up somewhere else. For whatever reason, I was, I was sure those spikes were going the other direction. There we go. Oh, they do retreat. Okay. But we do have some money to replenish and probably build this up to a trading port and repair this. Uh, we probably want to push these guys west to go hit these two stacks. They're going to get some mild replenish reinforcements. But I am going to have to attack it. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to attack it because I don't want Hanover Garrison to get attrited. So let's go and fight this battle. Let's keep the uh, momentum going. Pushing west, especially when we've got such tiny packets of enemy troops ahead of us. We should be able to do some good, good damage to them. Well, I mean, we will do some good damage to them because our armies are significant, but because we've got that advantage, we may as well continue. Number our guns. Form a battle line. These guys can go a bit further out on the wing. While my melee infantry can come in through the town. Cavalry on the flank. Deploy the howitzers. General can stay here for now. We can't deploy. Just keep pushing up. Quick line the dragoons to the rear. So they've got some cavalry over that hill. Some artillery, some more artillery and cavalry on that flank. To be honest, let's get one of these infantry units to get a volley off into the horse grenadier guards before my melee infantry charge in. Some friendly fire. Swamp them. To be honest, these men can go off to start to respond to those troops. We've got our. Oh, that's, a lot of, that's an excellent quick climb shot. Mm. 
Yeah, the horse grenadier guards, they're good, but they're falling quickly. Push up and secure the high ground. Field artillery back here can keep, can shoot at those Swiss grenadiers. Jastries are going to guards are still holding us off. Secure the hill. I do see those cavalry pushing in, but we have camels, so intercept their cavalry. Run my Samats around these horse grenadier guards. And what have they got? Marines and some militia. Probably going to do fine. So we've hit the general's bodyguard with two cavalry units. One of our, our Mamelukes and our Camels. Let's go and intercept the Grenadier Guards, who are going to be winning probably against my cavalry. And my howitzers are well out of range. Cavalry back. You guys charge the light helmets, the light infantry. You guys drop into square actually. Push these guys up a bit normally. It's just the regiment of force, if they can hold the square. This infantry block push up. Uh, Mamelu guards push that back corner. No, those infantry guards aren't going to hold the square. You guys run in. Mamelukes to the Felt Jäger Sophia, get the cavalry or the guards to go hit the horse artillery in the rear. Push these men around. Push the infantry guards over here as well. You guys go after the 12 pounders. Swiss Mountain Jaegers are charging in, which is what we want. Light infantry versus grenadiers is lovely. God damn, these infantry guards actually managed to hold off the uh, their cavalry, even, not even in formation. Charge the Swiss grenadiers. You guys go hit the line infantry. Camel nomads in Western Western Europe. Seem to be doing a hell of a number on them. Let's halt fire. Stop all our artillery from firing. Let's try and 
charge the Swiss Grenadiers in the rear. Mamluks charge the superior line. Let's get my camels against the... probably over here somewhere. Yeah, these mountain Jaegers... the uh, superior line, sorry. They're not going to last. To be honest, you can also charge into the Swiss Grenadiers. And I think... Well, these are all that remain. They're brave souls, but foolhardy. You're incredibly outnumbered. Oh, I actually clubbed a guy in the face. That guy just clubbed my guy in the face. In come the camels. Chase them down. Destroy the 8th Regiment. And keep attacking it. Good. Let's speed up time. Because we're going to continue because that's the only that's the only enemy unit left on the field, so we may as well. Actually, everyone run away, bar the camels. Enemies destroyed. Brightio. So they've been roundly cleared out and they've been pushed back towards Cologne. Although they've yeah, I was gonna say they've got they've gone a bit of a weird direction. <clears throat> so let's get these guys to replenish. These guys have the potential to push to the bridge. In which case you guys are gonna have to move up. And the garrison at Hanover is probably going to have to leave. But I don't think we're well, realist. No, no, you guys can garrison Hanover. Down to minus two. Push these guys up as well. But at some point we do need to make that push into Stuttgart. Because we do need to take them out. But we also need to take out... Some of these chaps, you're replenishing. I mean, I'm tempted to not even attack those guys at all to save this army. Just assault Rome, and then this army disappears, and then this force can swing west immediately and lay siege to Genoa. It's probably the better idea. I'm not really interested in the Americas yet. We've got some extra cash, let's just go do. Some infrastructure checks. Well, that's probably going to be everything. Apart from maybe one non-fully upgraded farm, which I don't know where that would be. Uh, you are almost fully replenished. You will go north to Raymond Lindstrad. Um, we have resupplied, or we're in the region to resupply or reinforce the garrison. You're going to go north to hit that guy. You're still replenishing, and then we're going to sell you to go lay siege to Stockholm. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Our spies are on the move. Our troops in over near the Mughal front are moving up. Here come some Spanish agents. Don't worry, Prussia. You're about to have a bit of a, uh, a bit of a problem. You're gonna have lots of men to the east. Okay, that's an army that's surrounded, potentially and easy to easy to destroy. Prussian navy's picking up reinforcements. Are they gonna go? They're gonna come after me this time. Looks like they want to. But if they want to raid a particular port, I'm not interested. I'm, I'll be bothered if they attack one of my key ports. But if they're just going to go sit there and blockade Alexandria, they're more than welcome to do that. I'm not bothered about holding any one port that isn't my capital. 
it will negatively impact my trade, but uh, it will not. It's not the uh, the be all and end all. Okay, you are going to fall back because he is surrounded on both sides. So just retreat. That's not a good direction to go. This could be quite interesting though, because it's this force here, plus this force behind it. We are depleted, so we're going to want to be defensive. But the first force is a lot of cavalry. Um, let's do it. Let's knock these two Prussian armies back, and then we can hopefully march west in good order, fairly quickly, to uh, resupport, well, to resupply and support that army that is now trapped because it can't cross through uh, Württemberg lands. Not a great position defensively. I'm hmm. over here isn't bad. Neither's over here on the left. So let's put one of my gun teams forward. My great gun is going to be behind the lines, lobbing shells at long range. We're going to have some troops on the left ready to fan out we've got some troops on the right that are going to fan out we've got our melee troops and we've got our cavalry and we've got our howitzers and my general Let's deploy, deploy the troops. There we go. Howitzers fire. Round shot. Let's deploy my melee infantry to support the lines cavalry the bulk of it can probably go over on the left but they've attacked me so I mean both of my guns are engaging them we'll hit their foot artillery if they don't want to play ball I mean, we've, I've got these massively great guns. And, you know, now we're going to start to hit the Dragoons, although they are going after my artillery team. To be honest, yeah. You guys switch to canister shot. Good stuff. Their suicide dragoon run has been repelled. Okay, the curious thing though is going to be where do the, where do their reinforcements come in from? It's the one thing that makes me uneasy. Okay, this back corner. All right. Let's get my howitzers switched over. Actually, they can stay on round shot for now. Whoa, okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Pivot this front although I might send these men to jump forward to go kill the general's bodyguard as he's isolated these guys can stay dropping quicklime I 
run my cavalry forward to intercept. I don't want them to. I don't really want them to uh, regroup. Ooh, quick climb! Ho! Oh. Delicious. It's actually quite tempting to try and send these guys over here to try and form a little defensive position around the hill. No, bad idea. Leaves this position too weak and easy to overrun. Though actually, it looks like we could probably do it. Although, there could be more than one reinforcing army. And we definitely know they are coming in at this back corner. But we also definitely know they're coming in over here. A lot of cavalry going around the flank. fairly conservative with our cavalry because once their cavalry is dead then we have control of the battlefield although here are some flanking troops let's drop this janissary guard into square they are going to come in from this back area by the looks of it General's bodyguards, it looks like. Yeah, these men stay in square. Counter charge with the Janissaries. Round shot the light horse. Start to quick climb the infantry that's coming up. Okay, they do have infantry coming in. Okay, good to know. So we probably will end up curving this line infantry back. But likely once I've managed to kill a couple of these generals. Oh, the Dragoons dismounted. No wonder they didn't do so well. Come on, kill the generals. Mm, cavalry's in a tangle with their infantry, I fear. cavalry on the move because these guys are now going to be supported by every Tom, Dick and Harry so get my Mamelukes and some cavalry to go interfere with their rear artillery positions let's switch 
this guy over to Canister Shark. Let's take these infantry. Pivot them like so. You can't help but go for this unit of Janissary Grenadiers, can you? Counter charge with our Janissaries. So who have they got back here? Okay, some pretty depleted fish and Jaegers. Got to be careful of these spikes. So it's done quite a reasonable job of making them difficult to get at. Got to how it says to focus fire. These troops coming in. Janissaries charge in, because now they've just got a bunch of infantry sat here. Yeah, okay. Cutting these Hessian Jaeger a new one. Trying to attack us with their cavalry, with their artillery. In general, I don't think we're going to have a pretty secure chase down the horse artillery. You guys meet up with my other cavalry. These men continue to chop up their skirmishes. Get our howitzers to keep working on these reinforcements coming in. You stay where you stay where you are. Completed, but they can still contribute. Marines, Swiss Grenadiers, they're not, yeah, they're not slouches back here. My pikemen are going to get caught by the Swiss Grenadiers. So let's just run them. This is the problem with Swiss Grenadiers. No, not Swiss Grenadiers. Camels are slow. Okay, charge my cavalry into the gendarmerie, get my camels in position to help push. Pivot. Let's push the flank up. You focus on hitting the Swiss line. No, camels. Don't engage the pikemen. Howitzers are unloading on them as fast as they can. We need to push the Swiss infantry away. We need to push up some of our. No, I don't see. I don't know why it is to. You guys target them on the flank. I don't know why the hell they're shooting those guys. I've given them their orders. And they're shooting them. And they're still shooting. I think I need to change my mouse. Okay, my cavalry is now getting shot to bits because I've won the combat. Hmm. 
You men charge the Hussars. It's understandable for my cavalry routes, which it has, um, just because I've left them isolated for a bit too long. So we did catch the Hussars. Camels. I don't run away from them. Oh look, I've got set to, to kill them, but they're just running. They're just trotting around, which means that they're going to lose men because they're not actually fighting the enemy. Accidentally caught up with those grenadiers. Might get both my howitzers to focus on that pikeman. Get my general in to help try turn the tide. The missiles are wavering. They've been shattered. still here. Good, you men. Keep loading and firing. They can't withstand your firepower forever. I may even run my sec bands up to engage them with pistol shot. There! Quick camels, run! You guys need to charge. You guys need to charge. You guys need to charge. Camels. They're not the best mobile cavalry for this job. Pick new troops to engage. When it comes to pipes like this, all you can really do is just overwhelm and hope you can break their morale. Quickly. Alright, my other general's units coming in. Let's bring them in quickly to hope I can position my troops like so. Who have I got hold of? My janissary, infantry guards. targets for these guys. What I can really hope to do is surround and upset the Swiss Grenadiers so that then we can fill out this bowl to keep my melee infantry pushing around the flanks. Because right now these Swiss Grenadiers aren't going to be, can't be too happy. are just trying to load and fire as quickly as you can. You have no ammo, which is not ideal. I'm going to 
run you guys in. You're all good stuff. Charge my man into the back of these conscripts. Put you on the flank of these infantry. Good, that's a good hit on the expats. Militia, more horse grenadier guards. Generals has been killed. A noble sacrifice, I believe. These men are sticking around quite a lot longer than I would have thought. I suppose it's because the first waves of troops aren't. The mountain Jaegers are coming in. Okay, let's start to. This first force may be defeated. Because <laughs> we do have lots of troops engaged. And we don't really have the amount of firepower involved to hold them back. So let's charge in. Let's commit my men to the ultimate ottoman fallback tactic so got my mamelukes let's get them involved let's pull the pull the coverymen from their saddles let's make sure our Artillery is firing a round shot and aiming at something sufficiently far back. Same with our artillery. And everyone charge in. New men charge into the light dragoons. That counter charge my men. New men charge into the militia. Actually, you might charge on into this, into this fight to help kill the dragoons, kill this pocket of men. You're brave boys. You're so very brave boys. If you can kill these dragoons quickly enough with my melee infantry, that'd be perfect. Then we could go hit the flank of... this combat. Ah. No. No, you stay away. Stay away from my general. I'm try to hit those gen those grenadiers. Those uh engineers, sorry. There we go. wavering we're holding them off the militia have been pushed back so the 
horse guard. Uh, no wait, the horse guard charged us. So we're going to kill them. Engineers are wavering. Oh, they're wavering across the front. I think some of my artillery came in to save the day. It stopped my guns from firing completely. Get my howitzers to focus on the militia. No, to be honest, stop my guns firing completely. Keep the melee wall running on. General's bodyguard chase down the engineers. Just get our Mamelukes to run around these spikes to go hit the gunners. So these men are going to swarm into the militia. They're shaken seeing such, seeing the men charge through gunfire. Just don't run on too far because uh, there's spikes. The rest of my infantry run into the gunners. They've destroyed all their... Actually, no, you haven't destroyed any of their artillery pieces. They just abandoned them. The militia is holding on. So these men can all focus on killing these engineers. The, other, the artillery's routed. Cool, that was... That was damn close. Right when the Sepahi show up as far away as possible from being useful. Oh, let's end the battle there. Because that was quite a significant engagement. Yeah, we lost a lot of men, but they lost more. That army's been pushed back. Both of them have been pushed back. Ah, good. Oh. Ah, uh -huh, we have to we we'll have to get ready to engage that Swedish force. Yeah, it appears. Oh, I was going to say they fear to actually engage in the open field. Uh, I'm going to fall back because I want my some of these units to get a bit stronger. Hmm, it looks like they, they might. Oh, it looks like they appear to want to try and break out out of the Danish peninsula, but I don't think it's going to work. Don't worry, the Mughals will be back. Although, to be honest, they're sailing armies away from our territory, which is a bit bizarre. Hmm. Okie dokie, so. Mughal troops, Mughal scholars are wandering around. They offer peace, we are not interested in their peace. We're going to go and catch and destroy their forces. Come on, give me my turn. There we go. Okay, so. So, so, so. You are in no position to push. You could in fact do with realistically another... Be all the artillery piece. So we've got these troops breaking out to the north. The only army in place to actually hit them is probably is the, what well, it, it is. This guy. There is no. Which guy do I use? So you're, I was going to say, are you good enough to hold the garrison? To hold them off? I don't think so. Let's go take this third rate. Sell them over the Kronstadt. Get the army embarked. Sail these fellas around and land near Stockholm. Go to the city, let's occupy the port. 
and you may need to replenish and you, you need troops but you're not realistically going to get them except from bum, 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 here okay good this force can actually escape well they're going to hold the bridge you're in no position to push anywhere however you can march south put uh, Cologne under siege. March you guys north. March these guys to the bridge. Probably march these guys up to... Well, I was going to say the other bridge, but that probably wouldn't be a good idea. March you guys up. You could do with two melee infantry and two regular infantry. So let's get some, get some Nizam, and let's get some. We haven't, okay, we haven't had any Felin for a while. Let's get some of those. Okay, good stuff. Naples is okay. Hold on. Dismantle the craft weavers. You build a madrasa because you are not Islamic. We have a priest. Oh no, we have a priest on the way. Let's put Rome under siege. Um, although, is that going to be the next fight? It probably is. We've got a whole bunch of fights to do. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.